Welcome to a new episode of ThiefNet Theories. And if you're looking by the title of this episode, you're probably wondering what's going on. Why would you put a title like this? Well, with some new trailers and some new screenshots released, I've had a reason to talk about this for a while. Let's start this theory off with another theory. And that theory is the theory about the collector's personality, aka Penelope. When fans heard that Penelope had disappeared mysteriously thanks to the opening cutscene, they had started to speculate on who the Collector was again, and this led them to believe that Penelope herself was the Collector. Now, I'm just going to say this right now, I do not think Penelope could be the main villain. I'm saying this right now because on Minisode number 2, I have constantly, constantly have been getting comments saying that Penelope could be the main bad guy for the game. To all of you that say this, I'm just going to say, no. No, it, it's not possible at all. I personally think Penelope has been kidnapped in order for the Collector to draw in the gang. Though, there have been some recent things released online that is starting to make me rethink this. On January 27th, YouTube user Ryan Brennett joined YouTube for the first time, and he brought us some very interesting Sly Cooper related stuff. Thanks to a stocking error, Ryan had gotten a copy of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time 10 days early, and that is before the release date on February 5th. And because of this, and because the fans asked for it, he decided to post gameplay videos of certain stuff, like gameplay of Carmelita, gameplay of Tennessee, and a little review of the game itself. But, the one video that he posted that really goes with this theory was his question and answer video. On that same day, the Sly Cooper fan page on Facebook shared a link leading to a brand new promotional video featuring Bentley and a telephone hotline. Near the end of the video, we were given some more Bentley gameplay and a little view at the Bonakicom. But after looking at that same corner at the Bonakicom with Penelope's picture, all logic about Penelope got blown out of my mind. If you've seen the trailers or played the recent demo, you will have known that Bentley has a picture of Penelope inside of his Bonakicom. The new Bentley short and the gameplay at the end showed this picture inside the Bonakicom as well. Only, it looked a little different now. It was scribbled on with a sharpie, had devil horns, some weird looking eyes, the Sinzara monkey by the way, and a mustache painted all over it. Also in Ryan Brennan's questions and answers video, he passes up a trophy on the list entitled, I need a mousetrap. I couldn't see the description, but thanks to a user on the Sly Cooper wiki, he managed to get a closer look at the description. And the description read, meet up with an old adversary. Curiouser and curiouser it may seem. What could this mean? Could Penelope actually be the Collector? And a theory on the same forum said that it could be a possibility that Penelope might be the Collector's daughter. I don't know what the future is going to hold. I mean, if this is true, then could Bentley and Penelope's relationship actually be over? Well, that's up for you to guess. Until February 5th, we won't be able to know. But still, these are all just theories. I mean, come on, Penelope actually working for the Collector? <laughs> That's crazy talk, right? Right? I mean, there's no logical proof, no evidence that'll prove that Penelope is or ever will be working for the Collector. God. 